Hey everybody, we're back with um, the next how-to video with me and it's going to be uh, today we're looking at stretches, so it's how to stretch. Um, just to make it clear, first of all, these stretches are to be done when you've done your exercises uh, and this stretching is really going to help you out in many ways. So it's going to improve your flexibility and mobility, reduce the risk of injury quite significantly and it's also going to help you with that um, soreness that you feel a day or two after you, you've trained. Uh, just, just take those DOMS off a little bit for you. Um, so I'm down on my mat on the floor here. Uh, it's quite late in the day, it's um, been a day full of outtakes today, which has been quite hilarious. Should have saved some for you, I suppose. Um, so we're going to take you through some stretches. If you've got a mat, mat, grab yourself one and get down on the floor with me. And we'll just um, get you started. So, stretching, do it after you've exercised. Time to relax, okay, it's not actually, you're not trying to fight anything here with the stretches. You're just going to get round to your maximum stretch and hold it there. So I'm going to be doing maintenance stretches with you, which is the best ones to do after you work out, holding them all for about 20 seconds at a time. Okay, relax, breathe, get into your stretches. So down onto your mat. We're going to bring the soles of the shoes in together, and you're just going to shuffle your feet in as close into your body as you can. Okay, probably feeling a little bit of a stretch on the inner thighs of the groin area. You can just pop the elbows into the um, tops of the calves or the inside of the knees and just put a little pressure there. Relax, bring it down as far as you can and you're comfortable and just hold it there for 20 seconds. Okay, when you've done that, you're going to bring one foot out, keep the other one bent in and you're just going to reach out for your toe on the straight leg. If you find this too easy, you can push your heel away and that will help you to stretch. Oh, Sutty's getting in on the action again. When you've done that, swap it over onto the other side so you'll feel these. They're on the hamstrings. Holding them all for 20. Okay, when you're done there, you can go around onto your front. Obviously use the stretches that are sort of uh, make sense for you to do with your workout. You know, if you've just done a leg, leg session, then these are great. If you haven't done anything on your legs, you're not really going to need to stretch them out. So we're going to bring one foot behind. Hope you can see that. I've just taken the bridge of the foot into the palm of my hand. Your legs out straight. Pulling the heel into the bum. Now if you can't get there, don't worry. Just bring it round as far as you can. Hold it for 20 seconds or just relax. Let it go, then you're going to swap it over and do the other side. So reach back and pull that heel in. All right, next thing you can do from here is bring one knee round to the side so it comes round towards your wrist. Okay, and then you're just going to put the pressure on the other arm here. You get a really nice stretch on the hip flexor on my right leg, which is out straight at the moment, hip relaxed down into the mat. You're also getting a glute stretch here on this bent leg and just a whole low back because you're in sort of a cobra position. So it feels great, 20 seconds. Swap it over, so I'll just show you what I did. Just brought the other one around here. Then you're gonna push on the opposite side, hip down, knee up. Okay, how are you doing with that? I did mention the cobra earlier, it's one you probably all know, so it's that position with hands under shoulders. This time, hips are down and the legs are out straight, toes on the floor. Beautiful stretch, might as well show you that one once we're there. Okay, still focusing on low back and quads with this one. You're going to bring one foot over the other, take one hand round to the back and just pull this knee across here, turn the body away, 20 seconds, swap it over to the other side, lovely stuff, okay. We're going to get into some core stretches as well now, one of my favourites and the most simple and effective one is actually just to lie, it's the best way for me to do this, just to lie and stretch out, 
digging my heels into the floor in front, stretching my fingers as far as I can. And just get that natural arch in the bottom of the back. Just let it stretch out and stretch in through the arms as well. Okay, we're gonna pop this out of the way, stand up and show you some more as we work up through core. Okay, so there's one of my favorites. It's just a waist twist. Because it's getting the whole bottom of the core moving. 20 seconds, hold it, take it round to the other side, and do the same again. Okay, then you've got your side bend. Really useful one, and then you can advance that a little bit just by taking the hand up over the top. All of these 20 seconds, and then you're gonna take it down, hold it the same on the other side. Okay, just keep a nice shape, everything's in line with the body. Next up, we'll go into um, chest. So your chest stretches. Take the hands round, I'm gonna show you that. Just put them on the small of my back, palms in the hands. You can actually take them and clasp your fingers together. All we're looking to do is open up the front of the thoracic cavity, stretching the chest muscles and the front of the shoulders. Okay, another one that's good for chest if you've got a solid surface like the end of a wall, put your elbow against it, step in and lunge on the other foot. And as you come in, you just twist away and you feel that lovely stretch across the top of the pec. Back, great one for back is just to get those hands out wide, lock your fingers in together. As you breathe in, just make a really nice deep in inhalation. Expand your rib cage because it goes all around your back as well. Don't forget, opening up the back and stretching through most of those back muscles. Okay, shoulders. Bring one arm across, keep it straight. You'll start to bend at some point and then you can bring the other hand up. And hold that stretch in there. Swap it across for the other side. Of course, 20 seconds each side and hold. Lovely, okay, then we'll go up for the um, tricep stretch. So one hand just comes over as if you're patting yourself on the back at the top of your shoulder blades. Then the other hand can come up here. Fingers onto the elbow, just putting a little pressure. Stretching your fingers down between the rib, between the shoulder blades. And then you'll swap that over and do the same the other side. Okay, bicep stretches. Um, what I find pretty useful is if I've got a wall here, a flat surface, just put a flat palm against it, lean in so you're applying a bit of weight and you can move your arm up and down until you feel the right place to get the stretch in the bicep and down the front of the forearm as well. So that's a nice one. Um, that's pretty much it for now. As I say, do those after your um, workouts. Hope you find them useful and I'll be catching you again pretty shortly. So take care. Nice to be speaking to you.